What's going on guys, it's Travel Consumer, and today we got something special, y'all. Inside of here, we have Lenovo's newest handheld device, the Legion Go. Now, you guys know me, I'm a big handheld gamer, but you're not here to hear about me. You wanna, you wanna see the device, let's do it. But all right guys, before we jump into the full video, I just wanna make a quick announcement. The UAC team is trying to get bigger. We are currently hiring. Uh, we're actually looking for a full-time editor as well as maybe some other positions, but we are looking for a full-time editor first and foremost. If you have a love for editing and being around a bunch of tech, definitely check the links down below in the description for the full job description. Uh, it'll have everything you need to know. And hopefully one of you viewers is gonna be qualified to join the team. Hit the link. Oh baby. So this looks like a Lenovo box, kind of like the 9i. We got some specs over here so you guys can see exactly what this thing is working with. But we'll get to the other specs later. I love me some handhelds. So it comes inside of a case. Okay, this little slip kind of shows you the different ways you can use it. Obviously it's inside of here, we'll get to that. But it also comes with a 65 watt charging brick over here. And I think there's something else. No, that's it. Let's take a look at the actual device. All right, so it's inside of this hard shell case. So here it is, but we've got something else in here too. Oh, we'll get to this later. Oh, this is dope though. The flap, there's a flap at the bottom of the case. So in case you need to charge it without taking it out, you can just keep it in here. And I think there's gonna be a USB-C port that lines up with it. But here you go, you guys. This is the Lenovo Legion Go. This is a big boy. Now I first saw it before it was like a final product and now it just looks it's clean. Either way, let's take a look at it. 8.8 inch display, going to look really good. So you got like your typical layout. You've got your joysticks over here, face buttons, D-pad. We got our touchpad over here. You might remember the Steam Deck has two of them, right Dom? On each side. And the ROG Ally has none. This is one, right in the middle. So we've got our bumper buttons, trigger buttons, but you've no you'll notice that the bumper button on the right side is actually really long. You can press it from all the way over here on the side. And there's another button over here as well. That's because this side has like some special functionality that we'll get to a little bit later. You've got your pro buttons like in the back. So you've got two here and you've got one here and one next to it. And over here we've got our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and we've got a micro SD card reader as well as a USB-C port. But like I mentioned before, there's another USB-C port at the bottom. So you get two of them, which is really dope. Not to mention, you'll see the Legion logo over here on the kickstand. So you can prop it up like this. Does that seem familiar to any of you guys? Check it out. So we've got some buttons back here and these are releases because they come off. So kind of switch-like, right? So you can go ahead, take these out, prop this down, and boom, you're playing like we would with a switch. But then there's even more functionality, you guys. So with this right one, you can use this thing and you actually dock it inside of here. And when you've got it in here, you can basically treat it like a mouse. Now you've got a wheel over here like your mouse scroll wheel. And you've got your optical sensor over here. I think you just hit this switch to activate it. It says off or FPS. I don't know how that's all gonna work out. I'm gonna have to test it and kind of get used to it and see how it feels. But it's crazy that that's even here. So now that everything's out of the box, I'm gonna go ahead, set this up, and give you guys my first impressions after I play with it for a bit. All right, you guys, so I spent a couple days with the Legion Go. And I've got some thoughts. Right off the bat, the screen is nuts. So like I said before, we have an 8.8 .8 inch display. Oh, we got Yakuza like a dragon popping up. And while this thing is like a gigantic device, you can't help but just feel like really immersed while you're playing. At least I know for me, it's been really awesome to just have this kind of real estate. Not to mention it's a fast screen, 144 Hertz. Uh, so games look really smooth, colors are great. So while I've been you know, messing around with this, 
course, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and try out some of like the other handhelds that I have. After going back to the ROG Ally, it made me feel like that screen was tiny, which is just insane to think about considering that is a pretty large screen. Now, in terms of like the overall feel of it, I'm still getting used to it. I did expect these corners to be a bit more problematic than they actually are. They're not as comfortable as, you know, something like the ROG Ally or the Steam Deck that kind of tapers off a bit in these corners. Uh, but for the most part, I was fine with it. Now, one thing that I gotta say I have to get used to is like the button placement. So we have these extra buttons up top and these over here, and the position's a little odd. So once you tap this, your quick settings will pop up, and it's also kind of weird that every time you tap it, like a different menu pops up, so you don't really know what to expect sometimes. And on this side, it pops open Legion space, so you have access to your library and all these other things that you can do with Legion space. Now, my only qualm with this is I think a lot of us are used to having, you know, buttons up top that bring up like the pause menu. I'm very used to pressing the pause button in game uh, to make my menus pop up, but that's located all the way over here. So my muscle memory is kind of messing with me here, having to use my left thumb on the lower part of the controller to access my menus. So that is taking some getting used to. Maybe there might be some flexibility with a software update where you can remap or something. Uh, but as of right now, that's probably the hardest part about using this for me. Now this is running Windows and you can obviously play like first person shooters and whatnot on it. So one of the unique features is being able to take off the controller and use it as a mouse. So when you're in here, you have access to your mouse. This is your left click. You got your right click over here. It's cool. It's gonna take some getting used to. I don't know how many of us are used to using like a joystick as a mouse, but it's an awesome feature to have. Like I'm never gonna complain about having the ability to do more things in a device. I'm not gonna say that's something I explored a lot because I didn't. I am curious though what like pro gamers have to say about this as an input. It's interesting, it's interesting. Stick them together. Like no, 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 you can't, you can't stick them together or anything. Only thing extra you get is this guy to turn this into you know, the mouse. Now it's a handheld PC, so battery life isn't going to be super crazy. Uh, what's nice though, is that this thing does have what Lenovo calls like their super rapid charge. In 10 minutes, you can get up to 30%. In 30 minutes, you get up to 70, and I believe 80 minutes will get you up to a full charge. And I also like the fact that it has two USB-C ports. Uh, something like the ROG Ally only has like that single one. I think the Steam Deck also has like the single one, uh, but this one gives you two. So if you're using it as a PC, what's nice is you can have it charging while also having other accessories attached to it. So you can have like a USB hub, a SSD, whatever it is you wanna add to it. You've got two USB-C ports to work with. But all in all, this is just like my first impressions of just like, you know, messing around with it for a little bit. I'm not mad at it. Speakers sound good, screen looks good. Specs are there. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it so far. But of course, I gotta spend more time with it before I can give you guys like an actual review. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe. You know we cover almost all the handhelds that come out. Uh, but I'm excited for this one. I'll probably take it on my trip to Hawaii and I'll spend a lot more time with it there for my full review. But that about wraps it up for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know, is this on your radar or are you just like into the Ally Steam Deck? Let me know which handheld has your eyes and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace. What are you gonna play in Hawaii? Yakuza. I spent too long with that in my library and I'm actually really enjoying it.